how to make a purse. Materials and equipments needed. One cut of main fabric that measures 11 by 16 inches. One cut of midweight fusible fleece that measures 11 by 16 inches. One cut of lining fabric that measures 11 by 16 inches. One cut of contrast fabric that measures 11 by 7 and a half inches. One cut of contrasting fabric for the strap and D-ring that measures 18 by 3 and a half inches. Cut 3 inches for the D-ring and 15 inches for the strap. One cut of lightweight woven interface for the strap and D-ring that measures 18 by 3 and a half inches. One D-ring and lobster claw clasp. One 14 inches zipper. Thread that matches the fabric. Sewing machine. Scissor or cutter. Fabric clips or pins. Ruler. Fabric marker. Hem gauge optional. These are the steps. Iron the contrasting fabric. Fold half inch and iron. Do the same with the other end of the fabric. Fold half inch and iron. Next step. Fusing the fusible fleece with the main fabric. First, lay the fusible fleece rough side up. Then next, lay the main fabric right side up above the fusible fleece. Iron, until the two sticks together. Follow the manufacturer's direction with ironing. It could be dry or steam ironing. Next step, fusing the D-ring and lobster claw clasp strap. How to make the strap and the D-ring. Cut 3 inches from the strap you made. This will be the fabric that you are going to use for the D-ring. Note how I connect the two ends.
its right sides together. Make sure to put the lobster claw clasp before sewing. Next step, sewing the contrast fabric with the main fabric. Mark the center of the two fabrics. Line the centers and secure the two fabrics with the pins or fabric clips. Top stitch the sides of the contrasting fabric to secure. Next step. Installing the zipper. Lay the zipper on its right side with the right side of the fabric. Secure it with the fabric clips or pins. Next step. Sewing. Change the pressure foot with zipper foot. Next step, sewing the lining fabric on the zipper. Lay the lining fabric wrong side up on top of the zipper. Sandwich the zipper with the main fabric. Secure it with fabric clips or pins. Sew the lining fabric on the zipper. Next step. Sewing the other side of the main fabric on the zipper.
Next step. Sewing the other side of the lining fabric on the zipper. Open the zipper all the way. Hand press the fabric, then top stitch both sides of the zipper together with the fabric. Turn the fabric's wrong side out. Separate the lining fabric from the main fabric. Stitch all the sides, leaving a small opening on the lining fabric. Make sure to line the zippers together. Secure it with the pins or fabric clips. Also line the contrast fabric. Stitch all the way around, but leave an opening on the side. I forgot to insert the D-ring. You should insert the D-ring below the zipper before sewing all the way around. Next step. Boxing the corners. Press the seams together and form a triangle in the corner. Using a ruler, mark a 2 inches stitch line. Secure it with a fabric clips or pins. Sew and follow the stitch line you made. Sew it twice to make it sturdy.
Cut the excess fabric quarter inch from the stitch line. Turn the right side out. So enclose the opening on the lining fabric. on the main fabric if you have this is the finished product Hope you learn from this video. Press subscribe and share to support my channel. Thank you.